Okay, hi all. Basically, I just thought it'd be a good idea to show you um, how I'm straining the resin after each print. Um, so basically, um, what I've got here is a paint filter um, at 190 microns. Um, makes like a nylon mesh, very fine nylon mesh. Um, just kitchen towel and a scraper. That's what you really need, really. So it's not too difficult. Um, I do it. I don't do it next to the printer because there's a lot of ambient light in that room so I, I prefer to bring it into a room where it's quite dark and just work under um, electric light um, so okay so basically um, I'll just pop up the lid have a look at the um, the resin as it stands zoom in on that I'm hoping that you'll see be able to see where the um, where this stuff is where the um, part cured resin is if I just lift it up and uh, let it okay it's really hard to show I see actually um put the buzz bubble quickly not wearing gloves at the moment um okay you can't really see it in this light sometimes you can see a shadow um as the light shows through there it shows as a ripple um and a shadow on the on the paper uh, it was yesterday as like a dark shadow um uh, see a little bit over here um, but it's clear resin so it's very difficult to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run that through the strainer and all we do is um, literally just pour it into the strainer try and make as little mess as possible. Obviously as you're doing it beware of your fingers going underneath there. You don't want any fingerprints on the acrylic underneath there. So all we do is pour that into our filter. Okay, you can see, I can see the stuff now on it. Um, I'll just stop stop it there so I can try and show you the part cured resin. The trick of doing this is to do it without making a mess. <laughs> I always tend to make a mess. Um, okay, let's put that back over there. Okay, hopefully you guys see in here. Um, maybe I'll see it in the light. It's like little dimples and... Um, Especially when it's pouring like that, um, it's like little dimples and shadows in the in the resin. Um, it's very hard to see. I, I really don't know whether the camera's picking it up at all. Um, so I'm just going to empty the rest of that out. Hopefully, you can catch some of the um, some of it. Um, the dimples of parquet resin. And it's all over. I'm going to just scrape that out. I haven't put gloves on yet, and I should have put gloves on. Um, looks like I need to give my the inside of it a bit of a clean. The um, looks like some dust on the on the other side of the acrylic. On the the face. so I need to give that a clean as well, so I can show you how I'm doing that as well. So difficult getting the stuff out without making a mess. Like I say, I'm doing this between every print now. Um, to try and get the pot cube resin out of the, the tank. Leave it at that. Um, in my scraper. Okay, so we can see, hopefully, you can see in there, it's um, slowly filtering through. And as it goes on, you'll start to clog up um, with the park cured resin. What I found is like, it's best to let it do it under their gravity if you feel that you've got part cured resin in there. If you start to, you can actually physically squeeze out that part, squeeze the um, part cured resin actually through into the um, into the good resin. So what I normally do is just leave it under gravity. Let gravity just put it through, and whatever's left in there is obviously the the part cured resin. 
It's starting to slow down a bit now. You can see how much is left in there. You see how thick that is. So I'll just leave it in there a bit longer. So I might need to put it in into another cup, otherwise the, the bottom of the filter is going to be in the in the resin. So I'm just going to grab another cup. Let's move it to that. So we need a, this. This is the filtered resin now over here. Move it out the way. I'm just going to put the top on that. There's not a lot of actual light getting into this part of the room, so I'm just going to put a top on that just in case. Um, and we'll leave this other resin to just feed through by itself under gravity. Okay, back to the tank. Um, let's get the video sorted. Okay, so um, obviously I always inspect the, the tank um, as I'm doing it and I try and scrape as much off. I've got some clouded areas from um, the, sec the, the rook uh, print that failed and that is um, I think it's quite scratchy the one that that is okay, it, um, and that is in the centre of the tank not really obvious uh, but there is some, some cloudy bits in, on the, in the centre very 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 faint I don't think it's too much of an issue but I won't print in the center again um, with this tank while we're doing the tests anyway um, now what I'm going to do now is I just want to clean the edge to get rid of any resin that's spilt over and there's still some resin in there in there that I want to try and scrape up so I'm just going to get the, the same towel just gently so I want to flip this over so I can clean the, um, the perspex. So it looks like it's got some dust on. Okay, so I've got most of that up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to flip this over over here. Yeah, it looks like I've managed to get some resin on the inside. Okay, so that all needs to be cleaned off carefully. Right, so I'm not going to not going to touch it with the um, towel. I will do it with a, a Pacific cloth or acrylic. Okay, so what I'm using is um, the Novus uh, polishing uh, mats for acrylic. And I'm using the uh, number one uh, plastic clean and shine for the acrylic. <laughs> Just grab yourselves one of these pads and cut a piece off of the pad, polishing pad. Okay. Before I start, I'm just going to try and blob some of this off. Not sure how I managed to get uh, resin on there, but anyway, it's always. Yeah, I'm not using a kitchen towel. I'm actually using one of these uh, wipes. I don't scratch anything. I'm going to spray some of the stuff on. It's taking your time. Make sure you get it all. There's no smudges. What I like to do is actually don't keep on using the same piece of the uh, pad and unravel it and use a clean piece. But you just smudge um, all the dirt around your We're nearly there, so we need to just hold it and try and get caps of light. Trying to say what's um, 
I smudge on what's oh, look on the inside, just scrape the inside a bit more. And clean. Okay, so what do is just pour in the resin again. I'm just going to try and clean the rest of the. Uh, oh, don't tell me I've just put it back on there and it's dirty. Fine, let's put another piece of. Um, put a clean piece of towel down. Okay. Okay, so if we go back to the resin that's been, you know, it's been set there for about a um, good 20 minutes now. Um, you can see how much is left in that. And after you can see on the actually where it's clogged up the uh, where it's clogged up the um, filter. So I'll throw the, that all out. You can see it stopped uh, filtering. Whoops! Sorry, you could see if I got my fat hands out the way. Okay. Um, and then 